Is it possible to make the skeletons bleed? Well it isn't going to be an easy task. These skelly boys have quite the bleed resistance. But that won't stop us from trying now, will it? Our first task at hand is to find the hero with the highest bleed chance. Luckily we have quite the selection. Each of these heroes have one or more abilities that can cause bleeding. You might think that the best bleeder would be the flagellant, since he got added at the same time as the mosquito DLC. <laughs> but no, it is actually the Hound Master's level 5 Hounds Harry, with a base bleed chance of 150%. Not bad at all. A base bleed chance of 150%, if it's above 100% shouldn't it always work? No you f- Ah, some might be confused by the numbers. Well, get out your pen and paper, because we're going back to school. Now listen up, even though an attack has a 100% or above chance of causing bleed, it still has a chance to fail. This is because of enemy resistances. Let's use our everyday cultist brawler as an example. He has a 20% bleed resistance. Let's say Dismas is trying to use open vein on our brawler, how can we tell the chance of it landing? Simple, just subtract the percentage of the bleed resistance from the bleed chance, and we have our answer. However, there are two more factors to take into account these being debuffs, and trinkets. Let's start with the simpler one. Trinkets are pretty straightforward. They don't add a percentage increase or decrease but rather go straight to the base value. We're going for the highest bleed chance for our hand master, so we only have a handful to choose from. Heroes can only hold two trinkets. So these are our best choice when the conditions are met. Now debuffs on the other hand are a bit more, complicated. But still quite simple. All debuffs can be stacked and there is no limit to how many can be stacked at once. But a normal debuff will go away after 3 turns, unless it's a critical hit, which in that case it'll stay for 5. So now we can focus on getting a debuff focused party. But first, let's remove all non-bleed resist debuffs. And would you look at that? Seems like the flagellant, grave robber and highwayman are going to be our assistants in the ruins. Well, that's all the time we had for today. Now get out there, and put your knowledge to good use. It's working. Ooh. It's working. Decision. Congratulations. Well, that wasn't too bloody difficult. As it turns out, getting skeletons to bleed isn't all too hard when you only go for bleed chance. I didn't even have to go below 50% torch in order to use the shrieker trinket to get the bleed off. But, in my professional opinion I'd say that you should just use blight instead. As it does the same job but better. But that's all I had for you kiddos today, thanks for watching. And please don't sue me old man senpai.